Venice Beach, please. So I remember seeing um, a little documentary with um, Anthony Bourdain, and he says the only burger to get in the US is an In N Out burger. The only burger in town. First morning in uh, California, and uh, I'm at Venice Beach. I don't know what it's like in Ireland. But I had to work two times as hard just to be myself, just to avoid the police, just to go to the colleges, just so I can be here to celebrate in California. And I guess that's what America is, because I worked my way up and now I'm here and I get to do so. So with that being said, love, peace, and hair grease to everybody in Ireland. I wish you guys nothing but peace, love, and blessings. <laughs> There's a smell of grass everywhere you go. Everybody here has got a skateboard. Even the people that don't skate's got a skateboard here. But it's a it's a it's an accessory as well. People here tend to be a little bit more uh, body conscious. It's Muscle Beach. What a great place Venice Beach is. Uh, and it's completely different to Santa Monica, which is the next uh, area up the road. Venice Beach is more... What's the best way to describe it? It's a three ring circus, basically. Um, there's a lot more crazies here. There's a lot more color here. There's a lot more weirdness here, which is exactly what I like. Whereas Santa Monica up the coast, not so far, is more family orientated, more classy, more, uh, more Dior, if you like. So it's the 22nd of December. Tomorrow's my birthday. Um, so we're gonna head to Death Valley, which is about a four and a half hour drive from here, a big desert area. Um, that's supposed, supposedly got some amazing landscape. I'm gonna check that out tomorrow and maybe end up in Vegas for Christmas day. Sled down the mini Matterhorn, build a snowman. Express and more. One price. So yeah, last night we uh, stopped in a town called Perumph. And it's a one horse town in the middle of nowhere. It's about 50 miles from Death Valley. A uh, really strange place full of really strange and interesting people. The place we stayed in was a casino. Casino stroke hotel. Stroke anything else you'd like it.
that's not on the menu, I'd imagine. Death Valley, apparently, is the hottest place on Earth. The driest place in North America. It's like being on the moon. largest national park in the US outside of Alaska. It can get up to something, they, re they recorded 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Tune. Give us an old card. Do you know any old cards at all? Happy New Year, everybody. Here we go now. Uh, where are you from? Dublin, Ireland. Ireland, right? Well, my mother is Irish, so I'm Italian Irish. What do you know about Ireland? She's from Dublin, and uh, her name's Annie McCormick. And Ireland is awesome. That fighter from Ireland, we were over here on that bridge, the MGM Bridge, and I was on my scooter here. What's his name? The big fighter from Ireland, your big number one guy. McGregor. McGregor, that guy. So he's over there with his team of people who just got fighting the night before, something like that. And uh, we're crossing the bridge, and he's just jumping on the back of my scooter. He thinks it's funny. The scooters back in the, the fenders are only made of fiberglass, so you can break them, you know what I mean? So I'm like, get the fuck off my fucking scooters, son of a bitch! And he's still like, chasing me around. You know, I kicked Bruce Lee's ass back in 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit, it's tacky as fuck, but it's kind of cool. Have you ever been to Ireland? No, I want, I want to go a castle in Ireland. <laughs> you guys have a lot of castles. <laughs> when uh, when you think of Ireland, what do you think of? Uh, redhead. Handsome man. Yeah. Conor <laughs> McGregor from Ireland. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> do you guys claim him? <laughs> so this is exactly a week into our trip now. So uh, has there been a highlight? I don't know, I love Santa Monica and I loved Venice Beach and I loved Death Valley. Everyone's crazy in America. As a kid vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen, such as they've not heard. The best thing you do for all your kids, go you teach your kids the word of God. This is a generation, a cursed generation. It's a generation built for the Antichrist and a burning hell. Have you ever heard of the term, how she couldn't? How she couldn't? How she couldn't? How she couldn't? Here we go now. There's a hell of a lot of homelessness around here. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Jesus. I go by T-Rex and I'm a local street performer out here. I play the drums on the buckets. I actually live on the streets. Uh, not because I, 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 I want to, because I like to. Where are you from? Brooklyn, New York. And how did you end up here? Uh, Greyhound bus. Yeah. <laughs> How's she cutting? Okay. <laughs> I love y'all guys. You guys are amazing people to hire. Vegas is awful, but wonderful. Anyway, we're gonna stay maybe just one hour a night, and um, we're trying to decide whether to go to Palm Springs or San Diego. So we're gonna check the weather this evening and get out of Dodge, or get out of Vegas tomorrow morning. Attention, if you owe money to the IRS, this is an urgent message. You need to call Optima Tax Relief, the number one tax resolution firm. They'll fight to get you the best deal possible. Call Optima now for a free consultation. Call 800-375-2922. 800-375-2922. 800-375-2922. This particular hotel used to be called the Riviera. Back in, it was built in 1959, apparently Sinatra and that Rat Pack shower used to come here a bit. But uh, I can see why, the, the weather here in Palm Springs is always good. So I'm just gonna chill for a couple of days, um, try and ease off on the photography and everything else. Beware the sneaky charges they do in uh, hotels and and everything, every sort of uh, facility and every uh, service in, in California and I'm sure all over the States, they, um, all these taxes and like this place I'm staying in here now at the moment cost 500 bills for, for, for two nights, but I got a bill for 750 on my bank card and I thought, what the fuck is 750 for? But uh, they charge you 100 a day in case you decide to, decide to sort of a security that you, you might wreck the room. They must think I'm fucking uh, Kate Moon or something. It's sneaky. I like Palm Springs. In 1,000 feet, continue straight to stay on South Indian Canyon Drive. Some of the houses here in Palm Springs are just amazing. Sort of 50s, 60s kind of vibe with lovely clean lines. to Joshua Tree and 29 Palms and plenty of other interesting places but time moves on and we've only got another about six days left to to go home so we're gonna to head to San Diego for a few days first day in San Diego staying in a really nice hotel in La Jolla which is just north of San Diego weather here is not great today nor for the next couple of days so I'm not quite sure there's going to be an awful lot of photo or video opportunities but um, I'm going to make the best of it anyway then head back to LA getting stuck into some Vietnamese food which is quite good hopefully they'll wait till I, hopefully they'll wait till I finish before they ring the bell just a little bit of a rant about um, the US um, restaurant culture uh, they can't wait for you to finish your food um, even if you're eating with your partner and 
he or she is finished and and you're not they'll, they'll rush over and take the other's plate or if you're finished they'll take your plate they'll ask you what you want for dessert before you even finish the main course and that's not just in poor restaurants that's in that's in pretty good restaurants as well just can't wait to get the stuff off the, play, off, the, off the table and get the bill into you pelicans and uh, seals are regular dwellers here in um, La Jolla. And you'll see them on every rock and everything else along the coastline here. I think the plan might be this afternoon after I do La Jolla here along the main stretch is to head into San Diego and maybe get a look at the USS Midway which is a huge uh, aircraft carrier um, because the military is such a major part of the culture here in the US. Might even go and try and get a 90 day. Come here, would you have a 99? 99? 99. Oh, 99. No, I, no, 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 no. Time is sort of uh, lots of boredom punctuated by seconds of sheer terror. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm leaving today. Oh, do you have to? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we do have to. Yeah. Back to Venice That's Beach, back to LA, yeah. and back to reality. One thing I will miss about the US is breakfast. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. There's one thing I gotta do before I leave LA, and I promised I'd do it. I may never get back here again. And that was visit a graveyard, believe it or not. Some of the most famous people in the entertainment industry have been buried in this particular graveyard. Um, but one I particularly want to see is the unmarked grave of Frank Zappa, a childhood hero of mine who, who got me through a lot of shit in my life back in the day. Um, I absolutely adored this guy as a child and I still admire him greatly. So I'm gonna to have to search around here for an unmarked grave. I, I have a rough idea where it is though. I am Spartacus. Hands up those who remember Mr. Ed. The great buddy Rich. So this is it. Believe it or not, Lou Ayers, um, and this site here where you see Patricia Pernetti Isaacs um, is where the unmarked grave of Frank Zappa is, so it's probably about there somewhere. Um, all very confusing. Then again, that's the way Frank would have wanted it. Yeah, that's about it. Nice meeting you, Frank. At last. Graveyards are great places to visit, really are. Um, not just to remind you of your mortality, but to remind you that you're only here once. It doesn't matter who you are, how much money you got, how much fame you got. We're only here for a short while, and then you gotta go. We all gotta go. guys in any garden salads to start off with maybe an appetizer my cook makes really good nachos right now